What's up guys, it's Delta Shark here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Steam look different, cool, slick, and clean cut. Um, this is just one of the many skins you can get out there, but preferably this is my favorite uh, as you can customize the colors as I have not done so myself yet, but I will be doing here soon. Um, so uh, as you can see right away, if we start off at the store, it doesn't look much different from the regular Steam updated store uh, that just came out a few months, uh, last few months, but as you can see up here, uh, you got your different buttons here, and I want to say it kind of looks like uh, my, uh, Windows 8, but um, in my opinion, it's it's not bad. I really like it. It's really clean cut. Um, I'm not really fond of Windows 8, but um, this makes Steam look really good to, in my eyes. So as for over here, you got your notifications, your friends, um, uh, settings, everything is uh, really nicely laid out up here. In settings you get this really long list and everything's just there already um, and yeah that's that you can go to your library um, this is where it looks uh, a lot more different um, as you can see it everything is laid out differently here and you got this cool little play button here with latest played uh, everything's just kind of moved around I just think that's cool for some weird reason um, and uh, yeah, everything's in a great layout. And um, yeah, now on to how to install after I showed you guys what it kind of looks like kind of change here. Yeah. Now, uh, how to install it. Uh, as for how to install it, you're going to go to metroforsteam.com, which will be in the link description, uh, be uh, in the description as a link below. Um, and it's going to take you to this website. Uh, this is a video that kind of shows what it is like I'm doing right now. Uh, but it's kind of more in depth. So if you check that out, if you have no idea what it is and kind of want uh, more detail into what it is. Um, as how to download and install, you're going to go down here for Metro uh, to Metro for Steam. You're going to click on 3.8.5 or whatever version is available at the time. It's going to take you to a DeviantArt website. If it doesn't, it takes you to some ad. Uh, just click on it again and hopefully it takes you to this. Uh, I knew, um, found out my friends had some issues with it yesterday and couldn't get to this page for some weird reason. Uh, right here to the right is download right under the ad. Just click on download and it will download wherever. I already downloaded it. So uh, it's saved as a zip or RAR file or whatever you use to open compressed documents. Um, so yeah, just open that up with whatever you have. I'm using WinRAR uh, right here. I have it open up already. Uh, Read me text. Uh, has all the information on how to do stuff, uh, installation, changing colors, and stuff like that. Uh, nothing in the change log apparently. Um, so all the installation is here, but I'm gonna show you guys how to install it really fast. All you have to do is install this font right here. You click on it, hit install, and sure I'm gonna replace. It doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, it's going to ask you for administration access and just hit yes and let it install. Um, nothing too complicated. Um, next part is a bit more complicated. Uh, you're going to go to wherever your Steam is saved. For me, it's on local disk C. Um, and it's in program files 86. You're going to scroll down, find your Steam folder. Mine is right here. And you're going to go find skins. This is the easy part. All I have to do is take the Metro for Steam and drag it right into the skins folder. Um, make sure it, you don't have another uh, folder for it. It's just drag Metro for Steam right into it. Don't need to do anything else. And that should uh, work. What ends up happening is next part you go to. Uh, oops. I think. Okay, this is messed up because I did it on the other Steam one. Alright, so you go to your settings and you go to your interface I believe and it says select the skin you wish to install for Steam but it does require a Steam restart which doesn't take that long and you have the default skin or the Metro for Steam right now we're doing the Metro for Steam so select that hit OK restart Steam um, it's probably gonna ask you to restart Steam and there you go you have the skin uh, like I said there's many others out there that I'm pretty sure look great but this is the one I like so far and I'm probably gonna stay with it for a while so yeah that was a quick installation tutorial on how to do it uh, if you want to change the colors just read the readme file in the um, 
compressed uh, file and you should be fine anyways guys thanks for watching if you found this helpful and if you do enjoy the new steam uh please give this video a thumbs up that'd be greatly appreciated and share it with everybody else um to make their steam look epic but anyways i'll see you guys next time